Black 47 is an Irish take on the Western, a tale of tragedy and vengeance set during the Great Famine of the 1840s. Many critics are calling it the Irish Braveheart, and it's definitely the dark, historical thriller you didn't know you were waiting for. This is Alexander Hall with another MRC-TV Movie Review. I love this country. What's left of it? To explain this film's setting, Ireland has spent centuries under the iron fist of English rule. Now, while their history is full of Viking invasions, religious wars, and poverty, the Great Famine, or Ungortamor, meaning the Great Hunger in Gaelic, is one of their most bitter struggles as a nation. Basically, from 1845 to 1849, a disease of the land called the Blight caused potatoes to rot within the ground, leading to mass starvation. This got far worse when local English landlords began evicting people from their houses, as well as seizing local food supplies and shipping them back to England. One-fourth of the entire Irish population either died of hunger or fled the country for places like America. The movie begins with the homecoming of an Irish soldier named Martin Feeney. After spending years fighting abroad for the British Empire, he returns to finding his homeland completely unrecognizable. His mother, dead of starvation, his brother hanged, and his sister's family is being evicted from their home to starve in the freezing cold. With nothing left to lose, and with years of combat experience in the Middle East, he begins a rampage through British-occupied Ireland to claim his vengeance. Hugo Weaving plays disgraced policeman and disillusioned soldier, teamed up with a viciously patriotic British officer to track Martin down. What plays up between Martin's rampage and his pursuers is like an old-school western, but with a European twist. To some Irish Americans, it'll be a grim awakening to the dark past of a homeland they've never yet been to. Now, while this movie is about Irish history, I feel like anybody can watch this and find political parallels to their own time. There's this idea in the film that the British took advantage of Ireland's starvation, offering them soup if they gave up their Catholic faith. This became so infamous that the phrase, taking the soup, became slang for selling out on your moral principles. The other parallel is where an English landlord is pleased at the effects of this mass starvation, clearing out peasants to replace them with more profitable livestock. He comments on how some look forward to the day where an Irish man in Ireland will be as rare as a Native American in New York. This eerily resembles the modern fears of some Irish conservatives regarding the long-term impacts of abortion and globalization. Now, whatever your personal politics are, I highly recommend that you watch this compelling film that works as a dark twist on the traditional American Western. For Irish Americans, and anybody concerned with justice and history, watch this film on Amazon or iTunes or check out the limited theatrical release. If you're looking for an excellent revenge western or to reconnect with Irish roots, I couldn't recommend it more. For MRC TV, I'm Alexander Hall. Thanks for watching.